For the first time since the historic prisoner swap, we're hearing from the Freed Americans. Paul Whelan overnight. Uh, looking forward to seeing my family down here and just recuperating from five years, seven months, and five days of just absolute nonsense by the Russian government. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich focused on the political prisoners still in Russia. Today was a really touching moment to see all of them, but I th it would be, you know, I, I think to see if we could potentially do something about them as well. I'd like to uh, talk, you know, talk to people about that. Gerskovich, Whelan, and Alsu Kremasheva will now be medically evaluated after being wrongfully detained in Russia. They were very upbeat last night, and, um, you know, I'll leave it to the doctors who will want to give them a full physical workup out in San Antonio where they were taken, where all of the unjustly detained Americans who are released get taken. Um, but they certainly look to be in good spirits and positive. The three Americans touching down at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland overnight, met by President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and their families. The prisoner exchange involved 24 prisoners and at least six countries, the largest since the Cold War. Alliances make a difference. They stepped up, they took a chance for us. It mattered a lot. Another prisoner released, U.S. screen card holder Vladimir Karamurza landing in Germany. Karamurza on the phone with the president yesterday in the Oval Office. I just want you to know that um, you've done a wonderful thing by saving so many people. I think there are 16 of us on the plane. Again, I, I still can't believe it's happening. There are Americans still being detained in Russia. That includes Mark Fogel, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says he is personally working on that case and doing everything he can to bring him home. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.